The Second World War had been far more traumatic for Worthing than anyone could have imagined, and thanks to one local resident, we have an extraordinary record of the period. Mr. C. F. Harris, a retired solicitor, settled in Broadwater with his wife Frances in 1937 and kept a diary of day-to-day -day life throughout the war. Mr. Harris's own introduction explains his motives. Here is a true and intimate example in the colour of the moment of what ordinary citizens felt and thought, and above all said, in the slow evolution of this world-racking event. His observations don't always reflect the spirit the history books would have us believe prevailed at the time, and are definitely not politically correct by modern standards. What they do provide is a unique first-hand account of life on the home front. For the first time, I saw the bus conductor of the fair sex. She was a well-enough-looking wench in her dark blue uniform, but spoilt in her lower part by abominable trousers. Then again in the town, saw for the first time a car driven by a woman chauffeur, peaked cap and all. Thus do women, in the absence of the stronger sex, take more and more part in our public life at home. After lunch at home, we walked down to Hadley Avenue to inspect the ruin there. Four nice little villas, reduced to a chaos of boards and plaster and bricks, perhaps six feet high. Pitiful little household goods, wireless set, fenders, bric-a-brac, peeping out everywhere. 